First would be, there is a mat, no EMF, you lay on and it's heating from underneath. Then you have the lower dome, the bottom part, you can see there is one that goes over your feet. It's heated into your feet and into your legs, you know, and then you have the top one, which is pulled over, over your torso. You can regulate the bottom part, the middle part, over your body and the hat mat. And the regulation is very simple. It's one, two, three is the lowest levels. And then you have four and five, which is good maintenance. Then you have six and seven to heat up and you can go to eight and nine, which is really full power. So what we do when we put a patient in, we turn all three elements on nine. Heat up the body as fast as we can. So really we get a lot of heat into the body and you know it's heating up your blood vessels. Far infrared penetrates the skin, heats up the blood as it goes through all your capillaries at the surface and it heats up through that your whole system. So it's a core temperature change that we receive and that's the fever that we create. Now, as soon as the patient says, oh, it's pretty uncomfortable, my feet are too hot and I, the mat is too hot, then that's what we realized with all of them. We turn down the lower to about three or four and we turn down the mat to about three or four. Sometimes patients have a higher tolerance for heat, some have less, like me, I can't stand it. So I turn it down to two or three, some others were in four and five and holding it there. Now, that's what you do until your core temperature rises up to 38, 38.5. And then you turn the device completely off, off, off and done. No more in, uh, artificial heat into the body, but you remain within the sauna. And because this is perfectly insulated and there is a very strong um, buffer and it's very close to the body, you will maintain the heat and then the body develops its own fever reaction, which means you go automatically up without any additional heat to 38.7, 39, 39.2. As soon as you go a little bit too high, you can actually, if you have it like this, take a little towel and put it here so that the hot air can go out and you actually release some heat. If it's going too far your temperature, you really open up, let the hot air go out, cool the patient a little bit down and then close it again. This way you can actually regulate because you don't want your patient, whoever is controlling or helping like a nurse, to go beyond 39, 39.5. In a home environment that's already really, really high. So you don't want to go beyond that. And I'll show you how to regulate and how to measure the temperature separately. So this would be it. And now as you do that at home and you keep your fever activity in your body quite active, it's amazing. Now what you could do is you go to your local GP and say, I'd like to have a 50, 60 gram vitamin C injection. You get that, you sit at the drip for an hour or two, you get your vitamin C, then you go home, put your towels, it comes with two towels or three towels in the package, you put that out, lay down, get a friend, your husband, your mother, your father, whoever is caring and looking for you and I would tell them to try it out themselves so that they just don't say, come on, stand it through, boil a bit longer. You want them to experience the same. They need to know how it feels. So do it in exchange, train each other, work with each other. It's an amazing thing. And then start the process. You have the high vitamin C in your veins. You can do the treatment and you keep it on a moderate level. You don't go into extremes. And this is a safe and beautiful process. Now, I'm not a doctor and I'm not allowed to tell you things like that, but that's how they do it here. And I'm not telling you what you're supposed to do. Actually, I tell you not to do it, but that's how the clinic does it and the patients do it. And that's how they have those stunning results. All right. Now I'll continue in a second video now where I show you the process. And in the third video where I show you how you control the temperature, which is actually the most important part. You don't want anybody to heat too high. 
So how to measure that, how to control that, what the cheapest devices are, is what I'll show you in the last video. Okay, see you then.